Periscope, maybe their Facebook. Periscope is on, but it hasn't flipped yet, so you can't see me. So as always, waiting. There we go. Waiting on my camera, camera to flip. God bless you. Prophet David Taylor here with your weekly prophetic word. This is Sunday, June 2nd, so let's jump right in. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you just thanking for another, another opportunity, God, to hear from you, to hear from uh, on high, oh God, to follow the head of the church, to stay in step and stay in sync with you, oh God. So, Lord, my prayer is that I must decrease so that you must increase more Christ in me, more Christ in us, and more power from the Holy Ghost, oh God, that you might be glorified, that your hand might be evident in all that's said and done, that those that see might believe because they see that it is the supernatural power of God moving, oh God. So I must decrease so, either, so that you might increase. So let your will be done. I surrender to the Holy Ghost, my mind, my thoughts, my lips, my tongue, my words, my actions, my gestures, my body, oh God, so that your message and your truth might come through that you might be glorified, that the saints might be edified, and that the demons might be terrified. And we thank you for it. We believe you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. <clears throat> Today's prophetic word is new things. New things. Now, I'm going to show you what that means. Got a very familiar passage of scripture, but there's going to be some things from it that you probably haven't heard before. Okay. So we're going to go to Isaiah 43, and we're going to start with verse 18. Isaiah is one of the major prophets of the Old Testament. As I've told you many times, major prophet just means their books were longer. Isaiah, Jeremiah, Jeremiah also wrote Lamentations. Um, so when you have huge books like that, that's why we call them major prophets, not that their message was more important. That's what a lot of people think. So when you have the minor prophets, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Zechariah, most of their books are like uh, four chapters long. They're not called minor prophets because their message is less important. They're called minor prophets because their books are smaller. Okay, so we're looking at a major prophet today. 66 chapters in the book of Isaiah, major prophet. Isaiah chapter 43, and we're going to start with verse 18 in our prophetic phrase, our prophetic word for today is new things. Verse 18, do not call to mind the former things. Pay no attention to things of old. Let's look at that right off the bat. God tells you that you're not supposed to be harping on the former things. You're not supposed to be continually remembering the former things. Now, I knew someone actually had a relative in my life to where every time I talked to this person, they would just... It would only take about five minutes, and then they'd be screaming and cursing and hollering about the past, and everything that came out of their mouth was about the past. And I like the way Bishop Jake says it. Bishop Jake says that when people commit suicide, it's normally over their past. But he's like, you haven't seen your future. You don't know what's in front of you, and you're killing your future. And so I've seen firsthand what happens, and you've seen it too. You've seen people that had bad breakups. And they're still talking about that person that did him wrong and that Sherman and he was so wrong and he ran off with his secretary and he was no good. And that man is 20 years gone or 30 years dead. And she's still fussing. Fussing in the old age. You're going to fuss your way to the grave over something that's two and three decades old. See that? So God says you don't call to mind the former things. It says, pay no attention to things of old. Pay no attention. Pay no attention. So attention is something that you pay. Okay? So God said, if you're going to pay, you don't pay attention to the old things. Lord, have mercy. If we could get that in our heads, if we could start stop harping and tripping over that which is dead and gone and done because you can't go back. You can't go back and redo your life and you can't go back and undo your decision. So God said, don't call in mind the former things, pay no attention to things of old. And here come verse 19. He says, behold, I am about to do something new. Even now it is coming. Do you not see it? Indeed, I will make a way in the wilderness and streams in the desert. So God said, behold, whenever you see the word behold, the word behold in the Bible, 
It means just what it says. It means look, pay attention to this. It means see. So God says, do not pay attention to the things of old. God says, do pay attention because I'm about to do something new. Even now it is coming. So first God says, I'm about to do it. And then God says, even now. That means it's already happening as God is speaking. I'm about to do something new. Even now it is coming. <clears throat> now, let me stop there and talk about some more ideas about new things because <clears throat> I like the way Bishop Jake says it. He says that this is not that. Many times the reason that people miss their blessings going forward with God is because you are hung up on an old method or an old denomination or an old structure or even an old word from the Lord. You're hung up on that which was. And God says, I'm about to do something new. Whenever God tells you he's going to do something new, the first thing you've got to do besides believing it is open your mind. Because we do not think in words, we think in pictures. And so whenever we hear something, we tend to get a picture in our heads and we think, well, it's supposed to go like this. And it's supposed to go like that. But when God says he's going to do something new, you have no idea what that's going to look like. And that's why so many Christians have missed God in the turns. Because Jesus turned somewhere you didn't expect him to go and God was saying something you didn't expect him to say and you missed it. But God says, I'm about to do something new even now it is coming. So what that means is whenever God gives you a word about new things, that means you have to start paying attention in your life to see what's going on, to see when the new things are happening because you have no idea which avenue or which road or which door the Lord is going to open. You just have to be ready. Then it says, do you not see it? Okay, why would God say, do you not see it, if you couldn't see it? I'll tell you why. Because of all the previous words. Because God knows there's such a tendency for us to be hung up on the old, that he wants us to be sure we focus all of our energy on paying attention to the new. So when God says, do you not see it, that means there could be something going on in your life right now that's already a blessing stream from God and you don't even recognize it as a blessing stream because it doesn't look like anything you've seen before. So as I told you, you've got to open your mind and you've got to be sure that you look at things in a new way. You've got to develop a new frame. Okay? Then it says, indeed, I will make a way in the wilderness and streams in the desert. Stop. The wilderness always represents a dry place. It always represents a dry place. It means that if you are in a place of dryness in your life, in your finances, in your health, in your academic education, in your professional career, in your marriage, in your relationships with your children, wherever it is you are, if you're in the wilderness, it feels like there aren't any resources it feels like it's a dry place in your life. But the Lord says, I'm going to make a way in the wilderness and streams in the desert. Now, that sounds like an oxymoron because if deserts had streams of water, they wouldn't be deserts. So, <laughs> so God is saying he's going to do something miraculous. He's going to do something that's counter culture. He's going to do something that's counterintuitive. So just like Moses looked up and saw a bush that was burning and that didn't make any sense because the bush was burning, but it wasn't consumed, and it caught his attention. God says there's going to be streams in the desert. Streams in the desert, okay? Then it goes on to say in verse 20, The animals of the field will honor me, the jackals and the owls, because I provide water in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my chosen people. God said even the animals are going to give him praise. <clears throat> the jackals and the owls. <clears throat> Jackals tend to represent wildness, and owls tend to represent wisdom, because I provide water in the wilderness. So God is saying, even the animals can recognize a miracle when they see it. So what we don't want to be is dumber than animals. <laughs> if the animals can see a miracle, we don't want to be dumber than them. We want to be able to recognize God's miracle hand, and rivers in the desert to give drink to my chosen people. But let's look at verse 21. Verse 21 says, uh, the beast, I'm reading King James now, the beasts of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert 
to give drink to my people, my chosen. The people I formed for myself will declare my praise. That's verse 21. The people I formed for myself will declare my praise. In King James, this people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. You know what that means? That means that God expects us to give him praise when he opens up this water in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert. So he said he formed us to give him praise. So we have to declare it and declare his praise because we don't want to let the animals do that. The animals got sense enough to honor God when they see his hand, but we don't want to be behind that. We want to continue to honor him and give him praise. So that's why, all right, hold on. I think the Holy Ghost is giving me a prophetic word to release. Okay, here we go. For behold, my people, listen to my prophets and believe them and you shall prosper. I am doing new things. Yea, they are already done. They are manifesting right now in your life. Do not limit me to what you think. Do not limit me to your own strength. Do not limit me to your own imagination and do not limit me to things of the past. But allow me to open your mind to new pathways, to new streams, to new incomes, to new ways, to new relationships. And I will surely make a way in the wilderness and I will surely provide rivers of water in your desert to refresh you, to renew you, to replenish your, your supplies and help you to move forward says the Spirit of the living God. Amen, amen. I received that one because I needed to hear that one. So God says he's going to do all that for us. He's going to replenish. He's going to renew. He's going to refresh. And he's going to do it in a miraculous way because there's going to be rivers in the desert. Because there ain't no rivers in the desert. Or else we wouldn't call it a desert. So he's going to do it in a new way. And prophetically, the Holy Ghost said, don't limit him. Don't limit him to that which was and don't limit him to your own imagination. Don't limit him to what you can do. And don't limit God to what you can think of, but rather uh, be willing and, and be excited and be open to what he can do, whatever that looks like. Okay? All right. Uh, short word today, but that was it. That was the fullness. Now I'm going to, if you have any prayer requests, put them on the screen. Otherwise, I'm going to go in the spirit and ask the Holy Ghost about healing, deliverance, finances, and if there's any more prophetic words. All right, uh, got a green light. It's got it all clear, so everything's good. So I'm happy to be able to release our prophetic word uh, to you. Remember, if you want to support my ministry, there's links on the page, and uh, there's PayPal links and um, and uh, the uh, Amazon uh, donation links. And uh, remember to watch the video from the top so you get all the information. You watch it live on Facebook or Periscope, but also I put the replay on YouTube. I want to thank you so much uh, for joining me today. It was a quick word. That's all the Holy Ghost gave me to say, and it didn't, he didn't say anything to me else about the extra ministry. So that's it. So great. So thank you for tuning in. I want you to watch the replay. Okay, God bless you, Sally. Thank you so much. I want you to enjoy your Sunday. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your time with your family. And uh, remember that God is going to make a way in the wilderness. He's going to do a miracle. And he's going to put water in the desert, something you've never seen before. So look for it. Thank you. God bless you. I'll see you next time.